Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can, in like two or three minutes, use ChatGPT and using the Langjane library in Python to, well, access your own data or use ChatGPT, ChatGPT <laughs> on your own data. And all we need is some data. I will create it randomly as a demo and maybe five, six lines of codes and we can start asking um, an AI jetbot on our own data. So let's get started. Um, I've created a Jupyter notebook, but also a Python file. Um, all links are in, all links to GitHub are in the description. So you can just check out those files and use it for your own. Um, we need to install some uh, packages like Langchain, ChromaDB, TikToken and OpenAI, OpenAI, and that's about it. And then we need to import like, actually like only two libraries would be, uh, or two modules would be necessary for this. Um, the other um, modules are just for uh, creating some, some dates and times for my randomly generated data set and the dot environment where I stored my OpenAI access token. This is also one thing you need. You need an OpenAI access token to access the OpenAI API to use the uh, ChatGPT models. And if you don't have an access token yet, go to openai.com, register and create your access token there. And I will save all my a randomly generated uh, schedule in a file called schedule.txt and then there's another function create data which only purpose is basically to create some random data we will have activities we will have people and i will create 30 entries with dates activities and people so let's get started just run this cell run this cell and then uh, once we uh, create our data, there will be this schedule data.txt file been created. Then I will load the dot environment to access my API key stored in a dot env file um, and then um, assign it to an environment variable called OpenAI uh, key, which will be used by the loader and vector store index creator later. And that's the only two lines you actually need to access your data. We need to create a data loader or a text loader and create a vector store index or index using the function vector store index creator. Um, if you don't want to save your API key or your token in an .env file and access it, uh, you can just basically paste it here in double quotes and that should work fine and you forget can forget about this. Okay, so let's uh, run this cell and check out the schedule file that has been created. So this is my random data. So it's like training session, project meeting with Daniel, meeting with client John, project meeting with Emma, Andrew, Sophia, Andrew and so on. And some dates and, and, and times basically. All right. Um, and now we can start asking questions. For instance, yeah, could you please sum up my schedule for me? And it will take some time. There is this warning. You can actually ignore it. Um, the reason why is we haven't chopped up our text into chunks of thousand tokens, um, which you would need to do if you have larger uh, data files. Mine is pretty small, pretty simple, so I don't need to do that. Okay, we get this summary of my schedule. It's not really a summary. Um, it will give you different uh, results every time you do that. Sometimes it's really a very short, nice summary. Sometimes it's a bit more elaborate. Um, this is basically an enumeration of all the stuff in that file. So it's not really a sum up, I would say. Okay, do I have uh, project meetings? So let's wait what we get. And it will just basically say, yes, you have project meetings. And this will also be different uh, every time you do it, uh, because as we can see um, in our um, sample file, we had quite a lot of project meetings like here and here. And I experienced if it's a lot of those, I mean, it's randomly generated, then um, the, the, the 
the chatbot or the, the chat would basically sum it up as yes you have project meetings if it's not that much then it would also print out you have a meeting with david and the exact date and you have a meeting with let's say olivia or jane the next question was what meetings with clients do i have and um, it would give me meeting with client with john on the july 3rd so let's check it out if that would be correct um so meeting with john on july 3rd that would be correct okay interesting so meeting with client there was only one this time so got it correct and i asked do i have any meetings with olivia in my schedule and we can see the answer is no there are no meetings with olivia in your schedule and if we browse quickly we can see okay there are no meetings with olivia so Quite impressive, actually. Uh, maybe I should just rewrite that prompt and something like give a short summary of activities in my schedule or something like that. And it would be more precise um, or the, the, the summary would be better. Um, but I think that's uh, enough uh, for you to show, you know, how you can quickly access own data and use a ChatGPT-like bot to ask yes, questions about your own data. I also created a regular Python file. You can also use that. Uh, you can alter it to, I don't know, access, maybe um, pass uh, arguments from the command line to ask questions or put that in a web application uh, with, a, with a form where you can maybe even upload your own data and then ask it questions. That would be also quite, quite easy to set up. All right, so as you saw, it's really, it's pretty easy to set this up. It's like, I mean, uh, we can basically, um, this function was only to, to generate random data. The only stuff you really need would be these two lines and the imports and the query. So it's 10 lines of codes and you're ready to go. Have fun.